Thanks to the Niagara Falls Downtown Business Improvement Area and the program's sponsors, banners honoring the city's veterans are back up this month. We reach out now to Bonnie Brady. She's the daughter of one of those veterans, Elliot F. Brady, her father, for a bit of the story behind the banner. And Bonnie, the placement of your dad's banner is really special to the family. It is, and it's actually quite ironic that they did it without our request. It just, when we put the banner up last year, it just happened to be put at the end of Huron Street, which is the street that he grew up on. And of course, that brought tears to everybody's eyes. And it was, I thought maybe they knew it, but uh, it was it was lovely. So again, this year they put it, it's on the opposite side of the street, but it's still at the end of Huron on the street. He grew up on the corner of Huron and, uh, and Fifth. As a young man, 18 years old, he enlisted and... Uh, when he was 20, he was shipped out, and you said it was on his birthday? Yeah, he actually physically got on the ship to go overseas on his 20th birthday. Yep, June, June the 9th, uh, 1943. He fought in World War II, and there was a battle that he was instrumental in getting Canada, I guess, out of. That's true. He um, and his regiment um, at that point was with the Algonquins were in, in a battle called the Battle of uh, the Leopold Canal in uh, Belgium. And it uh, didn't go well. Um, unfortunately, they were supposed to be trying to capture the, the bridge and to rebuild it. They had a team of engineers supposedly nearby. And unfortunately, they got a little... Uh, overwhelmed and many of his, all of his commanding officers actually were killed. Um, and uh, dad uh, ended up taking command um, at the ripe old age of just over, I guess he would have been 21 at that point and uh, got uh, the rest of his regiment that I believe if I remember right, there were only 12 left, um, but got them safely out of that area. And, uh, and the rest was history. Mm -hmm. What happened after that? I'm assuming that he stayed and moved up ranks. And when did he come home from World War II? He did. Unfortunately, Dad was um, wounded um, and was then sent to a um, military hospital in England. And um, unfortunately for him, or fortunately for the rest of us, he did get to come home. Um, he uh, really wanted to stay, but he was uh, he, he wasn't uh, definitely injured, of course, but he did have some severe injuries um, in both his arm and leg and eventually was sent home. Um, I believe he came home in 44. Bonnie, I imagine like many veterans after they returned back to their family, they didn't talk much about what happened over there. No, no, he, um, it was something that he kept very private. We did go uh, at one point to visit some friends of his that lived in North Bay up at, at NORAD at the base up there. Um, they would have a few conversations amongst themselves, but we weren't sort of invited into, uh, into those conversations. They were, they were private. It was something that he, um, just didn't want to share. He didn't want to share that with with the, us. You know, as we got older, we got to read some of the things from some of the books that are, were written and were kind of, wow, dad, like, wow, this is amazing. And he just, it was, I, I did what I did what I had to do. Was he involved in the Legion in his later years? Did he connect with other veterans frequently? He always um, supported the Legion. He wasn't, I wouldn't say he was a regular attender. He did a lot of other things, but he always marched um, on Remembrance Day and um, was always was always involved in that way and, uh, and supported his regiment. As I said, he left the Niagara area um, with the, joining the Lincoln and Welland Regiment and, and went um, to North Bay to join the Algonquins because he knew they were going overseas and he really wanted to go overseas. You have a son of your own. Can you imagine someone at 18 years old making that decision? I cannot. I actually have two sons of my own. I know you know one. Um, no, I can't. I, I, I find it um, just unbelievable that that generation didn't even, wouldn't, didn't even give it a second thought. It was just something that they felt committed to do. And it wasn't just for the country or just because it was war, it was something that they felt very strongly in representing and making their family proud. Um, it wasn't about killing, it wasn't about 
war was about making sure that their family, um, their family was safe. That was very, very important to my dad. And I'm sure all of the family just loves seeing that banner up there and smiles broadly when they pass by it. Bonnie, thanks for sharing Elliot's story. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.